the day on a quick word about solar panels. I'm going to try and give you a five minute guide on how to fit a solar panel. But before I do that, let's have a quick word about solar panels. Now there are different types of solar panels, there's a big array available. But all I'm going to say is, just get what you can afford, whatever your budget allows you. But ask yourself, do you really need a solar panel? I mean, my first camper van was an old Volkswagen, much like this one, when I was a young lad. And all I had was a switch like this on the dashboard. And all I did was start the engine up, flick this switch, and that sent power from the alternator to my leisure battery. It wasn't even an alternator, it was a dynamo. That's how long ago it was. And in fact, it wasn't even a leisure battery. It was just an old battery that I've got from the breakers yard for two quid. And I had that for years and it lasted and it worked fine. I used to go away for weeks at a time. No dramas at all, no solar panel. <laughs> just this switch on my dashboard, that's all I used. But nowadays, obviously, you've got these voltage sensing relays, and they're great, they work fine. You only really need a solar panel if you're gonna be stood static for a long period of time, and you've got a ceiling fan like this one, because the hotter it is, the more sun you've got, the more your solar panel's gonna charge your battery, and the more you're gonna to wanna to use your fan. It's perpetual motion type thing all going on there. Brilliant. So, yeah, do you really need a solar panel? But if you think you do, then keep watching and I'll show you how to fit it. Now there are basically two ways to attach your solar panel to your roof, and that's either screw it or glue it. <laughs> and this one I'm going to be gluing. But if you do decide to screw, I recommend these screws. They're roofing screws, they've got a rubber washer already attached, and they do seal, and yeah, they're pretty good. But even then, I'd still recommend using some sealer just around, just to make sure you don't get any water ingress into your vent. Now, the glue I'm going to be using is this U-Pole Tiger Seal. It's a sealant and adhesive and it is super strong. Downside is it's super expensive as well. This was over 15 quid for this one tube. But there should be enough in here to do one solar panel. But no matter how you decide to fix your solar panel to your roof, you're going to need something else as well. You're going to need a bracket of some sort. And this one, I'm going to use these big plastic ABS brackets. Now, they don't come drilled. I've already pre-drilled the hole, just to save a bit of time. Now, to determine where I'm gonna put the corner brackets up on the roof, rather than risk using the tape measure, you know, all that measure twice, cut once malarkey. Now, we don't wanna risk any of that. I simply use a piece of timber. Now, I cut this piece of timber, did this earlier, and I've cut it the same length as the width of the solar panel, and another piece, the same length as the length of the solar panel. Using these two pieces of timber, I can now get on the roof with my corner brackets and work out where they're gonna fit and how they fit, more importantly, between the ribs in the roof, because the roof has got these ribs in it, and I'll need those, pan those um, corner brackets to fit as flat as possible. And by doing that, I can determine the best position for the solar panel without actually taking the solar panel up on the roof, because we don't wanna keep dragging this thing up and down. It's really heavy and I do work on my own. <laughs> so I've been up on the roof, I've measured it all out and I've determined that I need to trim a little bit of this off just so that it fits down in between the ribs and it actually fits perfect. Really, really pleased how that fits. And I wouldn't have been able to do that without me little bits of timber. I shall get up the ladder now and try and show you what I mean. <laughs> what it's gonna end up looking like, look how well that fits. Nice, nice and snug. Now remember this piece of timber represents the solar panel so I know they're the right distance apart. I know they're square because of the seam of the van and because of the ribs on the van. That makes them fit in that corner nice and snug. Now the other ones on the other side are right up there and I know they're the right distance apart because of the length of this piece of timber. And I know they're the right distance apart that way when I go up there and check it with this. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to check using this piece of timber but they're the right distance apart. Fits in there perfectly, so now I'm confident that they're in the right place and I can glue them down. So I glued these down, I've left it a couple of days now just to give that tiger seal chance to set. I've got to say, I could probably hang on that with all my weight and that's not going to go anywhere. So I'm really pleased with that. Now these cables, I put these cables here when I very first started building the van and simply by drilling through this plastic grommet that was already in the roof. Most vans have got these, um, I think they're placed there for emergency beacons for them to put, put wires through for that sort of stuff. So uh, why not use them? 
rather than drill through the metal of the van, simply drill through one of these and pass your cables through and then seal it with mastic. And I've sealed it on the outside and on the inside as well. Um, that's never going to leak. <laughs> so yeah, so all I've got to do now is put the panel in place and connect it up. Simple as that. So the screws I'm going to be using are these roofing bolts. Now, I've taken the washer off. The thing is, these are perfect for this as well because they're self-drilling as well and they're self-tapping. And this framework is aluminium, so we don't have to worry about the swarf. It's not going to go rusty. So this goes in there like that. And because it's magnetic, it holds it in place nice and easy. Look how easy that is. Simple as that. Because that's magnetic, it holds it in. It makes it really simple. Now, I don't want to do these up tight because I, I don't want to do them up tight in case it pulls on there and uh, puts any undue stress on the bond or anything. That just needs to be nipped up. At the end of the day, it just needs to hold that in place. Perfect. Now, my solar panel's on the roof. All I need to do is connect it to this. But before I do that, I need to finish off building my bed. But once I've built my bed, I will run the wires through through the bottom of this cabinet and simply connect the positive and the negative to these two terminals and that's it it's done that's all the wiring finished complete so there you go nice and simple nice and safe just goes to show it's not that scary putting a solar panel on the roof of your van so if you like this video please do give me the thumbs up feel free to leave a comment below and if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button i'll put a link down there and i'll put a link up there to the rest of this van build thanks for watching tell for now